Okay, good. I guess, is it morning? Technically, I think it's still technically morning. I don't remember it at this point. Good day. Let's try that. So, welcome back to the little farm. And today, our project is converting this back to, this over to 12 volt. This is our late 40s Ford 8N. Currently 6 volt positive ground. It's going to 12 volt negative ground. Because that thing decided to conk out, so we're just going to 12 volt now. So we have a nice fancy kit here that we're putting in. So that's today's video. Because I actually I actually sang the film now because I'm not at work or busy with stuff. Okay, old generators out. There's the new alternator. You with the kit that's going to go on here, and then some of the miscellaneous mount brackets for it. Old wiring harness. Beautiful old hunk of junk that didn't work, so. It's a heavy beast. I like all the rest pitting on it. So. We're going to poke at this a bit more, and then I'll start the camera again. And a bit more progress. We got these two main brackets for the alternator. They're in loosely. Got to tighten the head bolts back down for this, and then the one way of the pole to get this tube out of the way. But those are, these are reffed in. Have to tighten them down still. And then got the wiring harness, main wiring harness disconnected up here on the front now. And then Dad's been fiddling about under the hood up back here pulling stuff out that we don't need anymore. So that was what, the rectifier that was over here? Regulator. Regulator. That, I can't move my camera, that blue thing down there. Got pulled and then moving wiring around up there, so much simpler. I'm going to shut the camera back off until we have a bit more progress. Okay, so we've done a little bit more. We got the main old harness pulled out. So basically all the original wiring that's, or the wiring harness we put on here like 10 years ago has been pulled out now. There's still the cruddy old wiring for some of the lights, but that doesn't work. We got the alternator mostly installed. The coil replaced. Here's the old one. Uh, belt change, because the old the belt that was on here at the generator was a bit too long, so we got a shorter belt in now. So yeah, that belt was a pain in the butt. We had to pull the bolt out for the bottom of the alternator. We only get the alternator in at an angle and then turn it, the hook onto the belt, and then bolt it in, but it's on. And when you tension it, it's not up against the um, uh, exhaust manifold, so that's good. So we're getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer to this thing running again. Because this doesn't, hasn't ran for a little bit now, because it needed the distributor down there cleaned up, which this might end up getting protronic soon, which is electronic ignition for the uninformed. But the reason this wasn't running then is, or is that, and then the old 6 volt, wherever the heck the thing went, battery went conked out because the old generator didn't work anymore, so we just ran off battery power, but the battery went dead. So then we debated, do we just buy a 6 volt battery and then have to fix the generator or just run off battery power still? Or buy a 12 volt battery and convert it over to 12 volt like everything else and then we can run 12 volt lights and stuff if we want to on here. Starts a little faster because we use the 12 volt jump pack on here to start it usually just because you can spin the starter fast. So that's nice and then just car alternators and pretty sure it's a normal car alternator. I forget them. I read up on all that stuff one time and I forgot it all. 
just a bit more simple, common, easier to fix, but, so, hopefully she'll run soon, we still need to clean the distributor thinking about it, but, need to have wiring and battery and stuff for that, so we have to get it converted, and, if I remember to, I'll stick a link to, maybe not this 12 volt conversion kit, but a 12 volt conversion kit, we got this one cheap before the price went back up on Amazon, but, I'll probably put a yesterday's tractor one or something up, I don't know. I'll put something in the description, if I remember to. So, this should be a very nice upgrade on here. And then also just having this tractor back in commission for pulling the poo spreader. And I'm going to shut the camera off and we can... Oh, we also got this little section of harness in now. Don't think we have hooked up, nope, nothing hooked up over there, but it's hooked up down here. So, oh. Turn the camera back on when we have a bit more. Back for another slight update is we've got basically all the alternator and built stuff in and tightened down. So now we need to go get torque wrench because we had the we have three of these head bolts that are loose because we had to put this bracket in and move that and let get that pipe out from under one because this pipe was in the way of the bracket over here. So we have to get we're gonna go get our torque wrench to get the these bolts, or nuts, not bolts, nuts, tightened. And then we're going to have to run all the wiring. They go up to the coil and the alternator and everything back there. So we're only going to get that taken care of and I'll pick the camera back up yet again somewhere in there. Okay. We got a little bit more done. We got the, I, I want to call it main, but it's really just the front wiring harness that runs down to the coil and the alternator in and attach on the front. And we're just going to zip tie it up here with the pipe because this pipe can't really shuffle anywhere that it can get into trouble. So that runs up there and connects to other stuff. So we got that in. We have to go get some, uh, um, I have to go get a ring terminal for this wire. It needs a ring terminal to go into the key. If I remember what Dad said right, or it needs a ring terminal to hook onto something. And then we got battery cable, new battery cables installed because the old two were shot. And we got. Strap for the negative and then a cable for the positive. For anyone screaming at us about the fact this is a bolt on terminal, and I know they suck, but it was sitting on a shelf in the garage. We don't have a pre made one, so these work that are just not pretty or long, don't have good longevity either. But it works, it's a battery cable, that's what matters. I don't feel like running into town for a single battery cable today. So, got those in, and then have to get, still have got our torque wrench for the top, but for the head bolts or head nets, but we'll deal with that soon. So, another update, and that's it. Okay, we have every, now we have everything put together, other than we've not cleaned the distributor, but we're going to see if it runs without doing that because we're lazy. But we have battery in, all everything hooked up. So. Yeah, so, you ready, daddy -o?
field, it runs somewhat. Feels being a pain in the butt, and apparently the radiator leaks. Woo. So that's that will be a project for another day. Yeah. That's annoying, but as I said, that's a project for another day. So I think we're going to leave it off here, so thanks for watching, if you're still watching at this point. If you like this very jumpy, skippy, whatever video, I guess you can like it. <clears throat> Let's see what other stuff I put out whenever I put stuff out. You can subscribe, and if you want to, leave a comment. Have a great day. Bye.